Steve Bull, and this is the 2018 StarCraft SCX211 Surf Series. But when Volvo introduced the forward drive a few years ago, it totally changed the game. Now this, the 211 SCX from StarCraft, is a surfable boat. They've got a Surf Series badge on the side. But because of the forward drive I.O. setup, you have all the handling that you're used to with a traditional stern drive. Actually, a side benefit to the forward drive, aside from pushing the props up to make it safer for riders, is your hole shot's more impressive and the turning is incredible. stern drive so you have all that family friendly runabout we were just talking about but you can really surf behind this boat too with a good wave unfortunately i don't know much about surfing but luckily i know someone who does former powerboat tv host matt spencer is currently with starcraft and he is their resident surf bro <laughs> you wouldn't think you get a get a better job than what you had but i may have found it yeah and buddy. it especially got better when we came out with a surfable deck boat like we have here with the scx 211. so you can i mean we've seen it's a lot of fun i know the scx but you can actually surf behind it you surf behind some you know expensive dedicated boats this wave compares to those exactly i mean we i've surfed behind many inboards obviously i'm going to be biased to this boat but this is a deck boat first and a surf boat second. We like to call it a surfable deck boat. So you're gonna have everything you want in a deck boat, the performance, the family friendly features, but now you're also gonna have a great surf wave. We like to say there's zero compromises from this wave. You're thinking, oh, it's gonna be subpar or you're gonna you know, get a discount wave. Absolutely not. We've had guys who surf many different boats and they get on, they're almost embarrassed to say like, wow, we're really impressed. And it was like, no, that's good. We want you to be. We want you to come in with low expectations because that means we can blow the doors off it. And there's more to kicking out a surfable wave than just you know going slow and plowing like any boat can do. It's, it's, a, it's a particular shaped wave um, and you need a couple things for that. And that, those are on this boat still? Absolutely, yeah. You need three main things, really, which is ballast, like most uh, tow boats have. That's so you can throw a big wave. You need speed control. The difference of 0.2 mile an hour is massive when it comes to surfing. And then finally, you need something that's gonna help you shape that wave. And we have tabs on each side of the boat, depending on which side you wanna surf, that's what helps go down. And then really what kind of really ties this boat together and opened the market for us was that Volvo forward drive. It puts the propeller up underneath the boat to make it safe enough to surf, but as well, you still have all the benefits of an I.O. And one of the huge things that we can do, inboards can't do, is we can trim that boat. And you'll see that actually makes a huge difference with our wave and really boosts it so it's nice. I would say 90% of the people that have surfed behind our surfable deck boats have never surfed before. There's a really huge success rate and this is a great way to introduce people to the sport of surfing. We don't think you can grow the sport of surfing by targeting surfers. We want to target the family, we want to give them a boat that they're going to love, and we're going to give them an all new activity to enjoy out on the water. To show us the wave in action, Matt jumped in, and with the speed control and tab set just the way he likes them, all I had to do was hit the throttle and not run into anything. I've tested a few surf boats and have tried surfing myself behind a $100,000 boat and this wave, to me, looks just as good as any of those. The modified dihedral cat hull means the beam is carried all the way forward which makes the bow lounge roomy but also allows for rear facing seating to watch the action behind the boat. And of course, you have tons of storage throughout and integral to any water lover not just surfers, you have a multi-level swim platform and transom lounge. I love this. Would love to see it on more boats, actually. The fact this truly is a family deck boat with the traditional handling of a stern drive versus an inboard, which is difficult to handle at slow speeds, especially docking. And you get that great, truly surfable wave. This is a true win-win. You're not sacrificing anything, and you're getting a little bit of the best of everything.